de 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 the player of the season for Crystal Palace and his brother, Mark Gwe, the player players of the year. Okay? The guy that makes everything happen, the player player of the year. Players player of the year. Wow. <laughs> All of them made in Chelsea, made in Cobham. So for you, bunch out there who don't like the academy product or english players stop it man stop the discrimination stop it because if you don't want to be discriminated against why are you discriminating other people or other countries or other nationalities come on man this is chelsea family here we're talking about because if you look at those experts right the expert online uh they would tell you always something that english player don't do you know they're gonna just highlight their flaws and when it comes to other players from other teams or other nationalities we want to pay whatever it takes to get them at chelsea football club and we always highlight what they do good it's always look at this statistics look at this look at that why can't we just treat people equally? All right? And you will see the same people campaigning against, oh, no discrimination, stop racism, stop. So what the hell are you doing? What you're doing is exactly that. Why are you discriminating those kids? The only sin from them is because they are English and they are Chelsea from the Chelsea Academy and we're supposed to hate them because we don't feel represented. You know, we are foreigners, so we have to hate locals. I've been there. I've been there. I've been discriminated my entire freaking life. And that's why I'm always against those stupid things online. <laughs> Look at Mark Way today, right? One of the best in the Premier League. But you will see people hyping somebody like Kunde, somebody we never heard of from French or from Brazil somewhere. He's a bowler, but somebody like Gwe, oh no, he's nobody. Look at his flaws. They're going to just make some stupid evil videos to highlight what he, you know, his mistakes. But they don't highlight the same mistakes for the guys that they are trying to push. Pure evil and stupidity. I'm so proud of my boys from the academy, you know, Mark Gwe and... Uh, Kano Galaga and anybody else. Ethan Ampadu, Kalum Hasunadoi, Tammy Abram, those boys deserve a lot of respect. Okay? You like it or not, they are going right to the top and there is nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. You can talk about, oh, bring to a many, bring such and such. How about Galaga? Who told you that he's not going to work in the, in, in the system? Come on, people. Come on. Just be human for a while here. All right? Okay, people. Let's let's jump to the second topic. All right. Christopher Nkunku. Yeah, another French guy, right? And this one, everybody is going to jump from their seat. Yes! This is what I'm talking about. Nkunku. Look at his name. His name is so cool. He's French. And he's bowling in the Bundesliga. He's going to score 100 goals when he comes to Chelsea Football Club. Blah, 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 blah. But when it comes to somebody like uh, Harvey Vell, okay? Jude, Sun Sap Bell from the academy. People are going to tell you, oh, they're still kid. We don't have time for kid. But you forgot that this guy been given a chance as a kid. That's why he's in that level. Okay, the statistics are going to come out only when it comes to academy product or, or English players. So this guy, apparently Thomas Tuko is highly interested in signing 
Christopher Nkuku. The player has got an offer from Leipzig to extend. They don't want to sell him this summer. There is no release clause. So, if we want to go for this guy, we have to accept everything that Leipzig are going to ask because there is no release clause. And you won't see any Chelsea online expert mentioning money here. We need to go pay whatever it takes to get him because statistics are good. Because he scores a lot of goals in the Bundesliga. I like the guy. He's French. He's my country boy. But I'm not... Uh, I'm not racist. I'm not I'm not here to push certain people just because of their color or because of their nationalities. This is Chelsea Football Club we're talking about here. So it is what it is. If he comes to Chelsea, good. If he doesn't care, I don't care because we still have bowlers from the academy and from the loan army. That's what I believe. But Nkuku is good. Uh, he's in national team right now, French national team, and uh, and he's back. This is the problem. He came from the academy of PSG, just like uh, Coleman and other bowlers right now, because they don't trust youth, just like Chelsea. But when they explode, okay, they become bowlers somewhere else. They wanna buy them back. We don't learn anything at Chelsea Football Club. Tony Rudiger at uh, Here We Go. We all knew it, okay? Thomas Tuko said it. Everybody knows that he's, he's gone. But now it's official. He already had his medical. Medical deal completed, everything done. And still, they have to confirm after the Champions League final. So... The problem is, I'm so happy for my brother, okay? I want him to get as much money as possible. He's going to get between 10, 10 million to 11 million a year. That kind of money, Chelsea were not going to, to give to him, okay? I don't see any way, even if we didn't have sanctions, I don't see Chelsea paying that kind of money. But... The narrative in the Chelsea community is to feel sorry for Rudiger and blame Chelsea Football Club. Listen, I am not going to buy to the <laughs> to the popular opinion here. I think Rudiger knew exactly what he was doing. He knew that he was never going to renew the contract with Chelsea Football Club if they don't offer him what he wants. Now, the question is, why Andreas Christensen is the devil and Antonio Rudiger is the angel? Because Rudiger played very good PR communication and Andreas Christensen were too, uh, too strict. He said, I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm leaving. But Antonio Rudiger wanted to negotiate, but negotiate in his own terms, just like William. I love you, I love Chelsea, but you give me what I want or I am out. I'm just surprised about people making him look like he's an angel. He's not. He just played very good communication, PR. I'm so happy that he's somewhere where he can get the money that he deserves. But I am not going to blame Chelsea Football Club for not giving him what he wants. That makes sense to anybody. But people don't want to think outside the box. They're going to just follow certain big account, the speculations. They're going to copy and paste without thinking. Andreas Christensen, the scene that he did, just to tell the truth, say, listen, I'm leaving. I'm not going to negotiate anymore. Okay, being <coughs> honest is costing him, and people are calling him snake. But Tony Rudiger for negotiating on his own terms, and he even jumped the ship. Listen, the new owner is not even there yet, 
But <laughs> all of a sudden, you left us during the crisis. You couldn't even wait until the new owner comes. So it tells you everything you want to know. But hey, I'm so happy for Rudiger. Good luck. And we're going to find another Rudiger or somebody better than Rudiger. That's the way it is. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Watch some other videos that I made early on. God bless you. Think outside the box. And I will see you next time.